Okay, so I found my earphones. Ah, we was like, ah. This is the look for today. I took my mask off. My skin, listen, my skin is not perfect, but I will tell you what products I'm using. <laughs> I'll tell you what products I'm using in another video because I'm not ready. <laughs> this shirt from Coupang, I'll probably let you guys know the name of the company. The pants, obviously, from Shein. Shein is that girl. Uh, this, oh! The, neck, the glasses are from Vogue Me. Vogue Me, shout out to Vogue Me. Use my discount code TIWA for 15% off. Um, this is not sponsored. And the bag is from Daiso. It says Tiggers can do everything, bro. And when I first saw it, I laughed because I thought it said no makeup, just vibes, and a heavy rainstorm. So let's go. Okay, so I'm at TMH. This whole area is so beautiful. Why would you wait till the ship has sailed? Yo, too much hobbyist kind of made some points. I, and like people have messaged me like, hey, where can I go to listen to some like chill music? You know, not a place that's not a not a club, but also like not a pub or anything. Too much hobbyist might be hobbyist might be that wave because like it's such a nice place. It's a cafe too, but I don't want to order anything right now because of like there's a lot of people here and I'm just not interested in taking my mask off right now. But like if you're looking for a place to sit down and chill, listen to some nice R&B music, like this is it, y'all. Mm. outside even though I know it's gonna be raining hella hard soon enough beautiful architecture it's like old school but they still modernize a lot of other places like it's just a nice mix of old and new I don't know if that's gentrification too much hobbyist Annyeong. <laughs>
Something about the sound of your voice in my head This was so industrial and I'd love to see it. I basically went to the top three destiny. What is <laughs> co-working space coming right here soon? Wanted. <laughs> oh, I hope my mic picks this up. But I basically went to all of the places I wanted to go to today. So right now I'm just walking around, trying to find, uh, trying to find something. I don't know, but I'm trying to find something. Oh, you got to back up on me. You got to back up on me. Chanel Factory 5 collection. 
Where do I want to go now? Let's see what she's about to what she's about to give us. That place looks like a damn high school cafeteria. So I'm like, you will not catch me at this hot spot child. Okay, so I'm looking for the museum child. Is this the museum? Turns out the place that I thought was a museum is actually not a museum, it is a parking garage. <laughs> I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. Why? I need to pee so damn bad and y'all know y'all know I pee at home so I'm like I gotta hurry up <laughs> I have to pee so bad okay so forget the clothing store I just found a stationery store I'll go to the stationery store it looks so cute god bless you period literally so surprised I thought I don't even know but I was expecting to spend like $30 there and she was like $4 I'm like $4 for a notebook and like two picture frames that you can like two picture like motivational bible quotes that you can put in frames I'm so surprised like god bless her I was like I was literally like oh my god come god like times a thousand sis like I finally found the clothing store I'm really praying it's not expensive but girl. Why would you wait till it's too late to say yeah? Why would you wait till the ship has sailed away? Not me being stared at. interesting um i have never been inside a fashion house before like an actual like we designed this i don't think i have but that was really cool i could not afford a damn thing in there but i was pretending i was imagining i was in the mindset that i could afford it because eventually by god's grace i will be able to so the museum visitor they will be seeing me again okay anyways that was honestly a good time like i really enjoyed it exploring this part of seoul because as you guys know i've mostly been in like hangdae and hongdae <laughs> and the areas around hongdae maybe like myeongdong myeongdong the one time i went to itaewon but this was like very different a lot of it felt very like industrial and like as i said before there was a there's like a huge blend between the old and the new but it really was nice to see like the different like the different infrastructure here and just how the buildings look and how even the cafes felt very much like we are a hipster and we are different you know so i really enjoyed coming to this side of seoul and i will be back i will be back because there's so many more cafes and places and especially stores that i want to visit but the weather is not good right now so i'm packing it up and i'm going home